Hello, my name is Shamia Tisdale. I'm a graduate student at the University of North Texas, pursuing my master's in professional and technical communication. Today, I will be sharing my internship experience working with Southwest Airlines as a technical writer for summer 2023. The agenda for this video will include more of an introduction about who I am, more about the internship and its hiring process, two projects I've worked on and the tools used, as well as a reflection on what I've learned throughout my internship, including overall challenges and takeaways. More about me, I graduated from the University of Central Florida with a BA in Technical Communication and a Certificate in Teaching English as a Foreign Language. I am a current MA student at the University of North Texas my major being in professional and technical communication. My hobbies include creative writing, all things tech from coding, playing video games and web development to name a few. My other hobbies include viewing and making art and music. My internship search began in August of 2022. I mainly looked for job postings on Glassdoor and LinkedIn. I discovered Southwest Airlines technical writer intern position via Dr. Kim Campbell's post. Because of this, I was able to apply the first day Southwest Airlines opened this job listing, improving my chances for an interview. Throughout my mentorship program at the Society of Technical Communication, I was able to make a series of connections, including a lead technical writer working at Southwest Airlines. I believe this also improved my odds of securing an interview. Southwest hiring process was the smoothest process I've ever been a part of, especially since I was interviewing for other intern positions at the time. The hiring process consisted of submitting the job application, an initial phone interview, an editing assessment, a panel interview with a lead and senior manager of a department, and finally a job offer. All of this was within a one month time frame, and I was constantly kept in a loop about my status via Southwest Campus Outreach Hiring Team. I work for the Central Publications Department where I'm specifically a part of the Flight Operations Team where I work closely with pilots, our subject matter experts on updating manuals pertaining to flying and maintaining safe air travel for passengers specified through certain plane models. My job duties include manual revisions and peer reviews for digital and physical copies, publishing, meeting with SMEs for further revisions for current and or new projects. My other duties include smaller intern projects such as renaming files and moving them over to another hard drive for a different department and various team building exercises such as monthly team lunches and planning Halloween in June. Halloween being Southwest's biggest holiday where everyone celebrates and competes for prizes all while being dressed up for the occasion. Work projects and tools. The historical research project was assigned to me and the second intern within a department. We were both tasked with finding past implemented policies and procedures regarding turbulence. We were tasked with looking for specific key words given to us by the SMEs, including specific manuals to search the terms in. I specifically oversaw the AOM, also known as the Aircraft Operating Manual, and the DOM, also known as the Dispatch Operating Manual. The tools used were the Southwest Airlines Archives and Database to find previous documentation, Microsoft OneNote for our findings and conclusions, and Adobe Acrobat to narrow down the search terms within the documents. The main challenge with the project was with the combined search results, over 1,000 instances were found for each term searched within the manuals, manuals dating far as far back as 2012. To get this project submitted within the time frame given to us by the SMEs, we used Adobe Acrobat doing an advanced search. With the results of the advanced search, we were able to categorize these findings within a few PDFs highlighting the most used phrases within each instance. The course I found most relevant to this project was the principles of technical communication. Because this project was primarily research-based, 
using the same research methodology I used for the projects of this course really came in handy, especially when documenting my findings and conclusions. The image presented is a Microsoft OneNote of my findings of the AOM, also known as the Aircraft Operating Manual, separated by the term search, the revision number and the effective date, and the first example here, the 2022 and the 2023 represent the year of the revision, whereas the 01 in both of these examples represent the revision number. And the first section of the finding and notes is the manual presented of our findings, the bulletins, just in case there were any bulletins found within the manuals, and then the second instance of the finding and notes specifying how many instances were found of the search term and in how many revisions. The FRM Max Manual Revisions is an ongoing project for changes for the current fourth revision for the FRM, also known as the Flight Reference Manual, specifically for the B737 Max Plane Model. The tools used were Arbortex, an XML content managing and authoring program, Microsoft Outlook and Teams for weekly SME communication, Microsoft OneNote for manual revision checklists and updating on documentation, and Southwest Tech Publisher, used for publishing the documentation primarily in HTML and PDF format. The main challenge with the project was certain changes for the documentation looked well within Arbitex, but will come out differently in HTML or PDF. This was primarily due to not properly updating the documentation outside of the changes made in certain sections. Even if only updating certain sections, the whole manual must be updated to reflect the current revision date. The courses I found the most relevant to this project were digital literacies and technical communication. TECM 591 course assignments familiarized me with XML content management and structured authoring using the MADCAP Flare program. This made learning Arbitex less daunting due to being familiar with coding and tags used within MADCAP Flare. The image presented is Southwest Tech Publisher. Starting from the right is the library menu of folders and subfolders of where you can find your manual specific to which manual you're looking for, such as the AOM or the DOM. Um, you can find bulletins, you can find imagery here of anything that you would wish to publish, but we mainly publish um, just manuals and not so much of the bulletins, but it all can be found in this library tree within the Southwest hard drive. Once you find what you're looking for, you would press the import button in the upper right hand corner where you would select which format you would like it to be in and the style sheet. Then once you've picked that, it will show this middle menu here and it will show you the status of your download. So starting from the published PDF section, it shows you the type you've published of what you picked in the import menu, how many files you've published, the style sheet that you've picked, which is in the import menu, the publish status of where it had any errors or if it published cleanly, the operator on who selected the publishing and which manual to import, the last update date of the manual and the publishing, and as well as a preview and the ability to download the manual. Reflection. The lessons I've learned through this internship include learning about aviation as a whole through shadowing different departments as well as within my own team of managing flight operations with pilot manuals. The overall process of editing and publishing technical documentation, including timelines, updates, meeting with SMEs, et cetera, in a corporate setting, comparing what I've learned in school and how it applies in a work environment. The biggest lesson I'd say I've learned the most is putting emphasis on building connections with others. Southwest is the only company I've seen so far who truly values and celebrates their employees through various team building activities such as going to baseball games, monthly scheduled team lunches, having cookouts just because. Most work environments I've previously worked in, 
The most we would get for a job well done amongst the team is the infamous pizza party. Southwest encourages team growth and connections and it shows. This came as somewhat of a culture shock to me at first, but I quickly adapted and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. The last and most important lesson throughout the rest of this internship and beyond is focusing on nurturing and utilizing my strengths and weaknesses, specifically using what I've learned from school and applying it to real world job and situations. Viewing my strengths as a stepping stone and my weaknesses as a chance to grow and continue to learn will only further help me improve as a technical writer. One of the overall challenges that I face within this internship is incorporating revision dates for manuals when peer reviewing. This topic has gotten a bit confusing to me as I understand that revision dates must match the entire manual regardless of the sections worked on. This seems to be lost in translation when conducting a peer review, so I'm seeking further guidance from a lead technical writer to help me get on the right track. Another challenge is consistently providing my team with updates on projects I'm working on. I will admit that when working on a project, I have tunnel vision. I focus on getting the project done and informing my team of the status once it's fully done. While this isn't necessarily a bad thing, consistent communication is key to reach the common goal for finishing a collaborative project. The last challenge is the program changes that are currently in the works within the department. Though I'm being trained on certain programs and current programs such as Arbitex, the Central Publications team is in the process of using different programs. If being promoted to a full-time technical writer in the future, all of what I've learned during my internship will be somewhat obsolete since I will be learning a whole new XML content management program. This is both very exciting and somewhat frustrating, but I'm eager to face this challenge head on. I appreciate you taking the time out to watch my presentation and to learn more about my experiences as an intern technical writer at Southwest Airlines. Thank you for watching.